Item number SCP-3900. Index. The Internet of Things That Are Wolves. Object Class. Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Recovered SCP-3900 infected hardware is to be destroyed prior to the next occurrence of a full moon. In the case that SCP-3900 is activated in an uncontrolled setting, care must be taken to ensure that no wolves escape. One wireless router infected with SCP-3900 is to be stored in a secure containment locker. All testing must be conducted within a Faraday cage enclosure to prevent unintended infection. The presence of an animal handler is required for testing. Description SCP-3900 is an anomalous, contagious property of wireless access points. SCP-3900 is spread between devices in proximity when both are turned on. This effect is correlated with the overlapping of Wi-Fi signals between the two and can be prevented through sufficient shielding. Infection requires an average of three days of uninterrupted contact between the two devices. As such, spread of SCP-3900 is limited in uncontrolled settings, although particularly connected spaces do pose a risk of epidemic. SCP-3900 becomes active when the infected device is enabled and a full moon is present above the horizon. At this point, a number of timber wolves will appear in the area currently covered by the wireless access point, which then ceases to transmit a signal. Wolf density is typically very high, at approximately one wolf per square meter. Wolves usually display signs of distress or confusion, but are docile. Wolves created through SCP-3900 do not exhibit wireless connectivity and are otherwise non-anomalous. When the full moon is no longer above the horizon, or SCP-3900 is turned off, all wolves in the area, excepting wolves not related to SCP-3900, will disappear. It is currently unclear whether the wolves in subsequent SCP-3900 activations are the same, or if a new population is generated each time. Addendum. During a test on 22-04-2016, junior researcher Beckett was superficially bitten by a wolf produced by SCP-3900. On the full moon of 21-05-2016, wireless interference was detected around Beckett, and she was found to be uniformly emitting radio waves in a similar frequency to those of wireless access points. This effect ceased when the moon set. Beckett was contained and subsequently instructed to superficially bite D-7649. On the full moon of 20-06-2016, D-7649 began to produce wolves in his vicinity. Just as with SCP-3900, these wolves vanished upon the end of the full moon. D-7649 was instructed to superficially bite a restrained non-anomalous wolf. On the full moon of 19-07-2016, the wolf's enclosure began to fill with hundreds of wireless routers of varying make and model. All routers disappeared when the moon set. Further testing has been discontinued.